Check it out, shoot it visual. You know what I'm saying? It's just like that, you feel me? Okay, and then when did you make this transition to activists? Because I know you started doing rallies and all this kind of stuff like yeah. that. So how did how did that come about? I was doing that on drugs. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I wrote my book on drugs. I did a lot on drugs. Like a lot of people didn't know I was on drugs. Uh, my brother, the devil, and me. That book mm -hmm. you wrote that on drugs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. So, so you was obviously conscious of your of the problem you had. Yeah. See, the thing is, when I wrote the book, you know, that's a religion book. So, I told myself I wasn't gonna get on no drugs. It took from the time I put the, you know, I had stopped doing drugs. Of the time I put the first letter on the paper. Three months later from putting the first sentence down, I had the book in my hand. And I said, I ain't going back to them drugs. But the book took off. And uh, get yeah. Explain that process. Like, you wrote it, and who did you get it to? Like, how did you know? I just, I, get it to like you know, that? I used to, you know, I used to rap. And so I just know the ways of the, of the, you know, moving around. Like, Google is everything. You know, Google, YouTube, learn anything you want to learn. So... Uh, then you put that with being a rapper. Like when I start, when I was rapping, it, man, you had to get it from the muscle. You know what I'm saying? You had to go to Sam Goodis, Blockbuster Music, sign consignment, sell them on your CD and right. packaging, go to disc makers, make a thousand CDs, all that shit. You had to put in the work. So the work ethic put me, let me, yeah, you know. Mean, being on drugs too. I mean, I, you got to yeah. keep up your habit and. Well, see, and then especially during that time, I wasn't really doing drugs until the money started rolling in from that book. Like, you ain't been sitting around with like $400 in your pocket, and you ain't really, really put that thing in the rest. Mm, it's right, going right. to right. come back up, you know, and like it did. Okay. So you said it took you, well, how long did it take you to write the book? You said you had it in your hand three, three, three months. months later. It took you about two. I don't even know. I just remember that three months later, I had the book. Most of the time that is uh, that was taken up was um, not me writing. It was the editing process and, you know, getting the cover done and all that stuff. But I was determined to write that book, man. Like, I was so, like, I was working at the hospital. I was washing pots. And sometimes I go in from, like, 1 to 10 or something. So days I go to work at 1 p.m., I get up at, like, 7 I'll write all the way up till it's time to go to work. I go work, take come home, take a shower, I'll work. I'll write all the way up to like four or five o'clock in the morning. I did it every day until it was done. Okay. And was that your first book you ever attempted to write? Yeah. No. No. I had this book called First Lady. <laughs> My homeboy just reminded me of that too. It was about a black uh, vice president. And um, the white the white president got assassinated, and she had to take over. I would tried to write that book in 03, 2003. <laughs> uh, I, I was living in Tallahassee, so that was fam, you partying. I wasn't getting that book done. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but you come out with this book, and you know it go crazy, like yeah, that thing went crazy, man. Yeah, I mean, we still people still coming at me about writing the script. Right, I was, I was gonna ask you like. Hey, you ain't about enough script. You ain't start writing one yourself. I ain't. It's, I ain't gonna lie. You know, I, I'm I'm rapper, activist, author. You know, now a documentary filmmaker. But I stay in my lane. Even though those like four lanes, those are lanes that I can stay in. Right, writing right. a script is not my lane. Okay. It takes some talent, and I ain't gonna disrespect that talent like that. And I can't That's do real. it. That's real. You know? I mean, you and it costs a lot of money, though. I was just about to say, yeah. you want to hire a writing team? Mm -mm, not right now. I, one of the blades got to take off okay, for right, me right, so I can right, put the money right. back in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nah, that's real. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, well, I'm going to say 2015, I think you was, uh, was the host of the uh, People's Perspective. Yeah. Let's talk about that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, podcast, you, you did your research, though. Like, I mean, I, I, I tried <laughs> That was um, my cousin Jabril. Um, put that down, <clears throat> and but he owned the cell phone place and Insta Wireless. He owned a whole bunch of businesses, and he didn't have time to host it. He asked me to step in and host it, and um, yeah, I had what Easy E daughter on there um, oh, doing right. come yeah, like yeah, 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 it was really dope. Like we, I, oh, man, I, I used to love that, you know, just hosting it. It was pretty cool, but 
still on drugs. Mm. I have my little cup, like, you know, you're hosting the show, you know, you right, think right, it's one right. vodka in there. Because okay, okay. I was just in the bathroom before the show snow. Yeah, like when I was, until I came out and talked about my drug use, whatever you seen me do before then, cocaine wasn't that far away from what I was doing. 